Hey, folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Factorio. We've had a little break. Let's get back to building a million minions. Uh, but yeah, you, you get the idea. So we've got quite a bit. So I think what I might do is I will take that one. I will copy that. I'm going to do that right now, actually. I'm going to take this bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, I mean, really, I should put one more little line on there. So, I'll do that a second. There. So, I've got one, uh, basically one splitter for every belt. There. And that, I have found, will tend to spread things out reasonably evenly across. If you want a perfectly balanced... Um, bit all the way across. If if you want a perfectly balanced um, lane, like a, a, a really really well built lane balancer, um, I'm not the person to be asking. I I am not the person to be asking for stuff like that. I don't use things like that. I I don't actually feel the need to. And yes, I can really appreciate where they would be a, an amazingly useful thing to have. And to actually make use of. But I, I don't ever actually end up using them. Um, I, I, I personally don't have a, a need for them. So I'm just going to drop this one in here. I'll put that one down like that. And then I will take this right here. And I'm going to just shadow build those. Like that. A whole load of different materials and stuff that are... Uh, being picked up. We've got all the copper being picked up. Right. The last few bits there. And then that will be constructed. The copper has currently ground to a halt. But that's not going to take very long. I can always run back down there in a second. And I can deal with that. Because it's not actually that far. We've got this. This is now running beautifully. I've got... 308. I'm going to have my full thousand belts on me. Right. Well, that's okay. Now, where was I? I was wanting to build that bit all the way up there. I mean, this isn't... That's not even started yet. And then I've still got the rest of the belts to build up there. Let's... What am I going to do? I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to do that. Because the, the speed at which we're now producing belts means that, that me it's going to be built pretty quickly anyway. So I don't need to worry about it. So what I'll do instead is I will take my 600-odd belts that I have got. And... I'm going to start running up here with a third line. And we'll go all the way up to the bit that we have been building. And I will make sure that I got... I was only going to do two lines there, but I will now put three lines all the way up through. And then once we get up there, we can start putting down the rest of the other stuff. If I go... I'll, I'll run this one line up. I've still got 500 belts there. And there's going to be a load more being brought over to me once we've got these in place. Wow. Wow. Okay, I really do have a long way to go. Okay, let's run back down here then. And I'll put these in. It's a lot faster when you're running down the belt. How much? How far am I going to have to... Yeah, see, look, I've got uh, a few of them coming over to me. I'm not quite sure what they're... They're coming to pick stuff. What have I... Oh, that's why. Yeah, they're coming to pick up some more items. There's a few more belts. They're chasing me, and i got robots that want to grab... I got, I got ones that want to grab stuff. i got ones that want to... Um, take stuff away. Uh, sorry, uh, to bring me stuff. They, they, they got gifts. They're crying out to bring me these gifts. And I'm saying, no, go away. I'm not interested. I'm so ungrateful. I really am. Let's keep going. How far up? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I've entirely thought this through with having a third line on this as well. I've not even got... I don't think I've even got enough belts to do one line, to be honest. There's one line. We'll see. I'll complete this line all the way up. And then I can start running back down again with the second line. I suspect I'm going to meet a whole load of robots on their way up, bringing me the rest of the item. Oh, we might do it. 70 belts left. No, I don't think we will. I'm not quite going to get there with all of these at 18, 12. <laughs> One, two, there. <laughs> <laughs> right up to that one right there. Right at that very last point right there. Uh, i tell you what, I'll run back down again. Actually, I'm just going to stand there a second. What have I got? i got 500 on the way and increasing. 
All right, we got 500 on the way, but it is increasing as we go. I don't need 100 of these anymore. I do need 100 of them because I am using a lot of those. Right, that one's going over there to recharge. If I stand here for a second, that one will recharge and then it will come over back to me. Uh, I want to have a look at power. It's 11.7. That's not changed. Okay. As it's not changed, I won't try to change anything with it. There, more belts being brought in. And a couple more belts. There's one running down from there. i got lots coming up to me. So I'll just let these catch up with me a second. You came over to me and then gave up and ran away. I really wish they wouldn't do that. Right, I really, really do wish they wouldn't do that. Okay, let's, let's, let's run now. That's the second belt there. And how much further... Wow. <laughs> uh, let's not do the third belt then. I think the third belt was a mistake. I think it was a mistake to even start the third belt. So I will bring you to this point. I've got belts coming up right there. I will allow them to be deposited so that I've got a couple hundred at least. But I suspect that we're going to need like 500 in order to do that stretch. And then the third belt runs to... Where are that one's? That one's down there somewhere. Where is the third one? Seriously. Yeah, that was a mistake. That's all the way down there. That, that, was, that was my bad. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that. I messed around. I, I, I messed up. All right, that, that was definitely my bad. Uh, another 475 are on their way right now. Let's just let that one there catch me. I don't mind about the splitters. And then we can start running up this way. Just running away from them. I've still only got 160 odd. So I'm going to have to stop again. This is ridiculous. Like, you, you don't really fully appreciate the distances that you start to cover. When you start laying down a really, really big solar field. You don't actually appreciate the distances that you have covered with that so even when you run past the thing you, you kind of like zone out while you're doing the running um you don't really fully appreciate the sheer scale of it until you've got to do something like this and actually build something all the way around it then it really does start to sort of get drummed home just how phenomenal the scale is thing really is now how are we doing down here i got belts being built Belts galore being built. I've got a few of those in. Deliver 12 filters. I've got 190 and i got 400. We're doing all right with that. We're doing just fine with that. Uh, in here, I'm doing all right with that as well. We're doing fine with all of it by the look of it. Yeah. That's actually doing nicely. We're doing, we're doing very well there. So I've got plenty of belts being built. Uh, no problem with the belts. 500 more are on their way to me. And that's increasing quite rapidly. Me is pleased. Now all I've got to do is wait for a few of them to get here. I am aware that if I had kept my train system going, I probably could have connected these up a lot faster and more easily than I can now. Um, and it is it, it has occurred to me that perhaps getting rid of that train system may have been just a tiny bit premature. But at the same time, I still don't regret it. No regrets, people. No regrets. Yeah? Best way. No regrets. Right. I've got those out to there. I'm, I'm not going to go out any further with that for a minute. I'm going to go up here. The belts will be brought to me now. So I want to bring that belt there. I'm going to put that bit out. I'm going to go in like this. And then we're going to go out that way. And that's going to go into there. And then this one here is going to do slightly differently. That one's going to go up like that. It's going to have to go up to that point so it can come across and then curve on there. I got no more up there that I need to worry about and that will then run all the way down here like this. Keep going. And you will go into there. And now I've got a whole load of construction bots coming out and placing down this little lot right here. Look, see, I've got um, around me, we've got the requests for them. So they've now, like, demanded that a whole load of these robots come out and start coming up to this bit. All I want to do is connect in a few of these belts. Not all of them, just a few of them. So I got ore running on there. I mean, yes, at the moment, the power has gone and died again. 
And but that's what a lot of this that's the reason that we're building all of this up is because the um is to deal with the power situation. All right, if we didn't have to worry about the power situation quite as much as we do. At least this is what I'm hoping. Because we get the copper in. That will then allow the steam turbines and other paraphernalia to be built up properly. And then once all of those have been built, we've then got our power back up online um, properly. So, you know, we'll we have the whole thing. The, the whole construction bit. It's, it's getting there. It's getting there. We're slowly... Like, the power is getting better and better. But it's still not perfect. There's that bit. Now I just want to come over here and connect in a few of these. I've got lots of belts there being brought over. I'll connect. I'll do a double line along here along the top just for now. And then the rest of them can be done with the construction bots. Let's put you to there. And that's another lot of ore that will then be able to be carried all the way down. So we've got a double belt running down here. There. And then that goes out to a three wide belt on this bit not that we really need it and then that goes out here that spreads out across it. why have you oh right yeah well, we've backed out to there but then we've backed up to this bit this bit's not being built i'm wondering if maybe i should head back down there and go and get that now that i've got this connected in that's done that bit over there is building. Uh, that bit is building. I'm, I'm really, I'm going to want to start, like, joining a long belt along there and then a belt. That one's to be the quickest one to do, wouldn't it? I've got less belts that I've actually got to connect up to make that one fit than I have any of the others. Well, apart from that one, maybe. But then that one, I've got to build belts all the way up through here to make that go anyway. Okay, ignore that. We're going to run down here. We're going to connect up the bit at the bottom so that I can keep that line of copper running. If I can, like, let me just gather up these belts here. So there's another 130 odd. How many have I got now? 500 on their way still. Yeah, you can wait. You, you can chase me. That'll be fine. I need to run all the way back down to the bottom now. And just join in that little bit so that I can make sure that they're properly connected right the way across. That will allow all of this ore to get back to the main base and then start to be processed. Which will increase the productivity. Uh, it, it, will, it, it will increase the productivity. It will increase the number of red circuits that are being built. And that in turn will increase the speed at which we can get our absolutely massive nuclear power plant all placed down and finished. I think if I do get a hovercraft vehicle of some kind, it's going to have to be one that's reasonably speedy. I mean, with our next playthrough, we're doing Bob's and Angels. We're doing a full Bob Angels playthrough. And I'm absolutely delighted to be able to report that Bob's and Angels has also increased the... Um, that there was a one mob that wasn't like completely done. He was still working on it. And he's added a whole load more functionality to that particular mod. It was um, allowing the creation of um, alien... It's basically allowing you to create bits of aliens and um, fish and stuff like that. But a lot of it hadn't been implemented. And now with the release of 1.8... Um, uh, 0, uh, 0 0.18 that we're using right now... Um, he's actually updated it all to 0.18 and he's released some more of the functionality to this new bit that he was um, getting done. And I'm absolutely delighted with it because it does look very, very cool. I've had a little bit of a play around with it and so far I'm quite impressed with what it's doing and how it looks. Hopefully it will continue to impress. So I've got three lines on there. Do I want to spread that out any further? I don't think I will. I think I'm going to leave that. i got 140 of these right here. 675 are now on their way. They're, they're, they're waiting to catch up with me. They're just waiting to catch up with me. But those three there, those three lines now running, mean that we are going to have that material taken all the way back. And it's backed up. It's backed up down to this one. It's backed up all the way up through here. Those in there, they're not going to move for quite a while. Um... 
So I either want to go all the way out over to here and join this one up, start working on that one, or I want to go on up further. I think I'm going to do them, I'm going to work my way up through. So I'm going to do this one over here to start with, just this first one, and then we'll work north after that. I can see a big crowd of robots right here. There is a lot of robots converging on me. It's a, there's a big lot of robots here screaming at me to just slow down for just a few seconds. So I'm going to stand here just a minute and let a few of those catch up with me. Because I'm going to be really, ga uh, re really, ga really glad of using some of these um, belts in a minute. So there's a couple hundred belts right there. Just for them trying desperately to catch up with me. We can, we can move on a little bit now up to that bit. And I will start putting together some of the belts onto there. What I'm going to do is just probably do like the bottom couple of belts all the way through like I've done previously. That that kind of approach to it. Still got 560 on the way to me. Yeah, if I, if I start off by putting like a... Well, well, we'll start off by putting a line of belts. That's what we'll do here. We'll put a line of belt. We'll put the bottom line of belts all the way across, yeah? That coming from down there, that's, that's being spread out. It's going right through all of it. And here come the robots. Lots of them. There we go. That gives me 400 lots of belts. And I go and get those there. You've got to feel sorry for them sometimes. You, you do. You, you've got to feel sorry for the poor little robots sometimes. Not all the time, though. I mean, this is what they're paid to do. This is their job. So, I mean, like, yeah, you know, st stop complaining, suck up and get on, suck it up and get on with it, kind of thing. Um, but occasionally, I do feel a little bit sorry for them. I, I do give them the run around quite a lot. I do make them work hard for their pay. Um, of course, the next problem I'm going to have is if I go over here and into this area with the belts. Oh, hang on, I, I got a long way I can go yet. Um, once I eventually get over to the bit that I'm heading over to. Uh, I'm going to go out of range of the logistic bots, and what they'll do is they'll suddenly decide, oh, I'm not there, and then they'll stop bringing me any belts at all, and that's going to be a little bit more of a problem. I could really do without them doing that. I need those belts. I need to make sure that they keep coming back to me, because if they don't, then I, I, I'm not going to be able to build what I want to build. I've only got 30 belts left. And we're out. Right. There's the limit. There's the outer limit. And if you look in here, I'll zoom out. If I go like that, I've got a square right there that is not covered. So to start with, I'm going to take this one. Now, I'm going to move forward a bit. Actually, while I've got this one highlighted, I can just do it like this. And I want to bring that one into there. Now, oh, I can actually activate my own robots to do this. Because I don't have any belts on me, so it's not going to make any difference for the belt bit. So I can drop a roboport down there. Like that. I've now covered most of the area. I run down here. And I do the same again, only this one needs to go right into that bit there. There, and... I've got a bit of the area up there that still needs to be covered. So if I just go over and I make sure that's done, I'm not going to need to go back over on this bit. But I still, I, I don't want to take any chances. I, I really, really don't want to take any chances on this. So if I'll drop one there as well. And that way, let's go to the map. That one drops in there. I've only got a bit in the middle. I'm not going to go into the middle. I'm not going to step into there, so I don't need to worry about that, which means that the they will keep bringing the belts to me. They're not going to abandon their journey halfway across. Uh, they will keep going. My own robots are going to go a little bit nuts for a minute, and they're going to start putting some of these down over here. I kind of... I guess that's all right. Not sure. No, actually, you know what? I'm not going to let them do that. I'm going to turn them off for a minute because I want to get all of these belts out and set up properly so oh now we've got a problem if i do that that means i've got to manually lift all of these as well that's a little bit more inconvenient i didn't actually think that through did i get rid of these and then that bit there 
None of these are needed. I don't need any of those there. And also, I can do the same over this side. I can get rid of some of these. Like them. I'm not going to get rid of the other bits. Like The belts need to stay there. Actually, that belt doesn't need to stay there. That one can all come away. So I'll take that one out, and that one out, and that one out. And then I can run back through like that. Okay. And out along the back. Well, I got a little bit up there. I suppose I don't really need to worry about it. Let me do it like this. If I drop in like that, I can dump that bit. And then I will go here. And I will deconstruct that little bit and those two bits there. So robots will come rushing up and they'll do that. I can deconstruct those and those few bits there. I'm being very frugal with my belts at the minute. Extremely frugal with it. And I go shoot here and take that one out. Those two right there. And then those two there we will cancel. Right. I think that's as frugal as I need to be with this. I don't need to do any more frugalities with it, do I? I think so. Uh, come off of there. Get rid of that one. You're all good. So I've got 163 belts right now. I've got 735 more belts on their way to me right now as we speak. So I'm going to bring that one up there like that. And put it over, and then I'm going to put a splitter onto there. So those two will go into one lane. Nice and easy. And that one lane will come out here. And now how many have we got? I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lanes in total. So that lane up there, I will move up, and I will put that one straight into the side of this one down here. Much the same fashion. So we will manually remove it. I'm not letting my robots fly around and do anything for a minute. Reason... Well, for obvious reasons. Right, so then... You... Come out like that. And drop that down... Like that. Then over... I'll go up one further. I don't want to put the splitter there. Just in case it can't put anything into the side of the splitter. I don't know if it can or it can't. But that way, I got that one onto a single lane. Right into there. So now, I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, at seven lanes down to there. So that outside one, I'm going to bring up and I'm going to tuck that one into the side of there. And then I've got six lanes. And that's all I need to worry about. So then you're going to go over this way. Like that, and you're going to go up and into there, and you're going to go like that. And then we're going to come down this way, so you are going to go out like that, and then you're going to go that way. And then I need to take an underground belt, that one's going to go to there. And I'll put it out as far as I can, because that obviously that saves belt. See, I could put a lot of this as underground belts. If I was to do that, all the way up through, put in a huge, great big lot of underground belts, that would save me a lot of belt space, wouldn't it? Right? That, that would be a really sensible thing to do. Um, but I'm obviously not that sensible. Right. <laughs> Let's put that one to there. And that one. And then you can go up there like that. Rotate it round a bit, and up you go. So then I got two more. I got this one and that one. And that's it. I bring those up, and we'll be done. So first up, you are going to go this way. You're going to go just past there, and you're going to go in like this. And you're going to go like that. And that's going to put that one in. And then we'll get rid of those. And those two. And those out that way. And now you, what you're going to do is that one's going to go there like that. So that I can keep this going in a neat and tidy straight line. I'm going to put that one underneath that one and then underneath the other one. And then it's going to go there. So yeah, it's got to step back ever so slightly. And that can run along into there. And then the final one is going to go here. Like that. 
and that one's going to run up there like that, and it's going to go and join in on there. But then what I'm going to do, because I've got, like, three lanes running into one down here, um, I will just add one of the splitters on there, and then I'm going to do a splitter thing on here. So I will do those there, another one here like this. Uh, is that enough? Let's do it a little bit more there. Right, so we've got a nice even spread all the way across there. I've got 300 belts on me right now. I've got more belts being brought... I've got a lot more belts being brought over to me. Yes, I haven't got anything over here at the moment. So kind of what I'm thinking next is I will allow some of this ore to get started. Most of it is not connected up. So if I stand right here... With my 326 belts and my 670 that are on their way. I've got a thousand belts on their way. Activate my robots and let them go out and place down everything that needs to be placed down up here. That should start some of the ore running back through. Right, they're not going all, uh, from here, from me. They're going out over to... Oh, they are, they're going out to about here. That's the limit of about where they're going. And then they're going in through the rest of this. They will place down all of those. And that, look, see, we've already got ore. I got one bit in there. Why haven't I got a bit there that's moving? There's a belt there that's missing. Why aren't you, why aren't you putting that belt down? There's one that, there's obviously a construction robot that is already flagged. And it's, it's bringing that one over. You're not a construction bot. Right, move in this way a little bit. It's going to have my robots just connect up a few more. I can't reach that one. Can't reach, see? Need to go in further. Reach, there. That's what I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do, is just join that one up. The rest of these over here. I didn't intend for them to go that far out. We've gone and done several. And I've got ore coming up from all of the areas now. Okay, that's good. I will go no further than that. I've actually got construction robots there. Oh, no, that was my construction. I thought it was other construction robots bringing stuff in. Uh, what are you bringing? Oh. They're bringing the robo-ports that I used. Remember me using the robo-ports? Yeah, they're bringing them back now. They're going to throw down a load of these. That is going to burn up all of the belts that I've got. It's going to use up every belt that I got. I got enough just to do over to here. I haven't got enough belts on me or on the way either to do a full line all the way across. So what I'll do is I'll switch the belts off now. And I will just move it across this way. And so I can have a second belt coming in. Right. It, what it will do is it will just fill. It will back that up and it will fill up two splitters. And then you'll just have one line that will be running continuously. Well, now it's going to be two lines, because I'm going to run along here. I'm going to fill this in. I let them catch up with me a little bit. There. I've got quite a lot of these robots. Look, look at them all. Look at them all. And i just seen a... Is that a construction robot? I think that one is. Yeah, there's, there's some construction bots. They're heading on down. They, they've got further to go. They have other tasks. Other purposes. There's a few more. All right, I've got 150 belts now. I can now just keep running. Just ignore these. They're almost to the point where they can catch me up. I mean, yeah, we're working on our atomic bomb at the moment. Um, but once it... Well, folks, Rome wasn't built in a day, and a million minions are not going to be built in a single episode. We've run out of time, so if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.